first thing you want to do is is rough up all the edges and sand it down and and I painted the whole thing white, right? Because a white makes a nice background for paint, right? The, the, the colors stand up very well on a white background. So I painted the whole thing white with house paint and then I started, you know, doing my first character and drawing the first scene and so forth and you take a step back and you go, oh god, what am I doing, right? But I tried to persevere and kept going at it and you start filling in here and you start filling in there and pretty soon it starts taking shape and you start gluing stuff on there and it starts adding up more and more and more and even halfway through the project you still kind of question what you're doing but after a while it kind of takes shape and you kind of start getting excited about it and finally now it's to a point where it's about 90 percent done and and you know now i'm pretty stoked about it my name is chris baldwin and i'm an artist living on whidbey island and I've made a couple art cars. Voy a cantarles, señores, voy a cantarles, señores, todo lo que yo sufrí. My first art car uh, was called Unless, and it was a 1966 Dodge Dart. I, I made these art cars mostly just because of the challenge. There's something really interesting about this big canvas that, uh, you know, to fill that entire space with, with cool art is a huge challenge. My second art car is named Rosie. And the theme of Rosie is basically based on the Day of the Dead in Mexico. And in Mexico, the Day of the Dead is all about celebrating and honoring those who have passed on. So what I want to do is take those characters from the Day of the Dead and have them celebrating the end of our overconsumption and overuse of fossil fuels. Because for me, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping that we've reached sort of the tipping point or the, the tide has turned on our overuse of fossil fuels. Mi madre, llorar por su hijo querido, por su hijo del corazón.